Hey, it's Sandy. Welcome back to Cute Polish. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the five most common mistakes people make when removing gel polish at home. So let's begin removing this gel mani. To soak off the gel, I'm first going to begin by grabbing my nail polish remover. Ooh, that's our first mistake. If you want to remove gel polish, you're going to need 100% acetone. The full strength acetone will penetrate through all the layers of gel polish and lift it up off the nail plate. So let's grab a cotton ball, soak it with acetone, and place it over the nail. Nope, that's not a good idea either. Before placing the cotton soaked in acetone over the nail, you need to break the seal on the gel polish. To do so, you need to use a nail file and file off the top layer. You can try to remove a lot of the gel polish using the file alone, however, you run the risk of breaking through it all the way to the nail plate and then scratching your actual nail. So it's best to just file off the top coat layer. Now we can add the acetone soaked cotton ball. You don't need the entire cotton ball for one nail. Half of it or a third of it will do. Then you're using less cotton balls overall. So once you've placed it on your nail, you need to wrap it with tin foil. Nah, let's not do that. You can do that, but you end up looking like an alien with 10 tin foil fingers, and you can't do anything while you wait for them to soak. Try using clips instead. They're easy to apply and they're reusable, which is great for the environment. However, my personal favorite are these silicone soakies. I've been using them all year long and I love them. Not only are they reusable, but you can still manage to do some things in your life while you're wearing them. <laughs> so once we've soaked our nails for 10 minutes, we're going to go ahead and check on them. So peel off any remaining gel stuck on the nails with a metal pusher. Ah, no, you want to stay away from the metal pushers. They will encourage you to forcefully and impatiently push off the stuck on gel. Instead, go for a wooden stick because they're weaker and more gentle. If you find that the gel is still stuck on, don't force it off. Just put the acetone back on it and wait another five minutes before checking again. Then you can simply flake it off with the wooden orange stick. And now you're all done. No, 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 wait. Those nails, cuticles, and skin are in need of some serious rehydrating. Acetone is very drying, so you need to add the moisture back in. To do so, rub some of your favorite cuticle oil on. This stuff will have your nails back to life in no time. And there you have it! Five common mistakes people make when removing gel polish and how to fix them. If you guys would like to watch more awesome nail art videos here on Cute Polish, click these boxes. Subscribe to Cute Polish by clicking here. And check out my new gaming channel called Cute Play by clicking this little circle here. Thank you guys so much for watching, take care, and I'll see you next time! Bye!